Ooh, spooky! <laughs> hey guys, Miss Sayanelli here, and welcome back to another episode of the Minish Cap. In the last episode, we arrived here at the graveyard. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> and in this episode, we're going to be taking quite the dive into the biggest grave here. And what do you know? The very first things that we get to see are Gyptos. It may be the Royal Crypt, but graves are creepy no matter whose they are. Well, where are we supposed to go meet this King Gustav anyway? I'm not so sure I even want to anymore. Can we just go somewhere less creepy? I like how he was getting on my case for being like, really afraid of things. Hey! Hey! Nay! No, let me go! Okay, I wanted to show off that this is kind of cool, if I can do it right. Gibdos! If you light them on fire, they become... Stalfos! They become Stalfos! And we got a small key off of that one. Okay, uh, I wanted to test this. What happens... Oh my god! Oh my god! It actually works! That is so cool! That is so cool! Okay, I'm gonna do it again with this one, but I'm gonna try the, um, cane of Pachi. We're gonna try this. Oh boy! What happens? Holy moly! And he's blind! And I can take him out- Oh, that's so cool! I had no idea that that actually happened. Okay, now that we're in here, I do want to try and see what Ezlo says. Uh, don't tell me the new path leads us into a grave. That means King Gustav must really have been a, uh, uh, Whoa, I just got a chill down my seam! I like how he says seam instead of spine. Um, I haven't mentioned it up till now, but ghosts and, and stuff like that, they really give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> so I'd rather not go into that grave if we can avoid it at all. Well, too late now, we're already in here. But Masaya, this doesn't seem to bother you very much. Either you're very much in control of your fear, or you haven't really registered what's going on here. <laughs> Maybe we're too young to really understand? Fine, fine. King Gustav is waiting for us inside that crypt. And remember, it is the royal crypt, so show a little respect in there. Got that, Masay? So now he's, a, now he's like, talking about having respect for the things here. Okay. Uh, your hair is always really messy. A real rat's nest. As long as I'm up here, no one will ever need to know. You can thank me later. Wow, thanks, man. But I re recommend seeing your stylist before you meet. You next meet Princess Zelda. <laughs> Must look good for the ladies. Somehow, I find it, like, ten times funnier that we're in a grave and he's, sa and he's saying something like that. Like, priorities are clearly in order. Uh, okay, this is the one that we should take. The others will not be able to launch us all the way across. Yep. Oh. Oh, this. Okay, I want to point this out. If you'll look at these really closely, you'll see that this one has a different shape keyhole than the middle one. Clearly, that means that this is not all that safe. Now, if you want to destroy it, I believe we can use a bomb. Yep. And this one, too. Two bombs will take them out. So, not, not bad. You just have to look closely at the door to be able to see. Um, we have locks on blocks. The, does that just make them bl blocks? Like, emphasis on the locks? It sounds like really stupid, but I'll run with it. Okay, so I believe we have to split into three. One, two, three, and then go up. Now it's all about management. Yeah! We already got a small key, and because my ghost picked it up, it teleported. Interesting. I mean, I'll run with it. Uh, do I have to go all the way back? Yeah, I do. Can I push this? Oh, no, I can just push it. Yay! Shortcuts! And now on this side, let's see. Um. Alright. So we just have to avoid the, the trap? Is that it? That seems very simple. Okay. Sure, why not? Bum 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 bum. That'd be a really cute text tone. That little dun 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 dun. And with that, we can unlock both of these blocks. 
head down the stairs. Oh, shoot! Angry ropes! Get away from me! Shoot! Stupid snakes. Uh, okay, big door. We have a big door, so that means we have to do something to open it. If there are empty torches, be sure to light them! Uh, I'm not interested in these things. Yeah! Okay, uh, let's, let's do it this way. We'll do, we'll do the cane of Pachi. I love this because nothing really uses the cane of Pachi as a weakness. So I find it really interesting that Stalfos, of all things, has it as a weakness. And the fact that you're, like, flipping their head off it just is really funny to me. Uh, okay, and with that, we have arrived. O oh, young one, child who seeks to rescue my descendant, Zelda, welcome. My name is Gustav. I was a king of Hyrule countless ages ago. I grant to you this kinstone. Seek the source of the flow in Hyrule. Only then will your path open. Save Zelda. All of Hyrule is counting on you. You got a kinstone piece! These mystic stones are said to bring happiness. Hmm, fascinating! An ancient king of Hyrule! How strange! And the source of the flow? What do you suppose that could mean? And how convenient! We get just instantly teleported out into the Royal Valley once again. So, we have obtained our hint for the day, and now we're ready to head out. Um, we did get a new kinstone piece, which was a golden one, so obviously this is meant as, like, a story progressive thing. Also, I like how it has a crown on it. That, I love how there's a crown on the one that... Gustav gives you. Granted, I think all the yellow ones have crowns, but still, still, it has a crown, and therefore it's royal, and therefore a king gave it to me, so it's worth something. And this guy does indeed have a new fusion for us. Um, okay, he says the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and fuse with him! Yeah, the graveyard is a very short area. It surprises me. I, honestly, I thought that this was going to be a whole lot longer, and I thought, oh, hello! I don't know why I've been such a nasty little prankster all the time. All of a sudden, I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I feel like I've made up for all of my awful deeds. Ha ha! Hey, spook- spookster. <laughs> I almost said spookster. See you in paradise. Whoa! Whoa, man! Okay, no, back up! Back up! That face was creepy! You were really cute for like five seconds, and then you just turned into a real creepster. Uh, they fit perfectly. I have a good feeling about this. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 whatever about your, your, your brother. Now, uh, one of these headstones, I believe, one of them is able to be pushed, and I want to figure out which one. It's not, it's not the one that I already pushed, but we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. I swear that we will find it. Ah, here we go. Um... It- what? It's just- what? Do I have to dig it? it? Do I have to become a grave digger? No? Okay. I, I guess that wasn't it. It had the little jingle though. Turns out I was going about this the completely wrong way. Okay, what we want to do, we want to go into Dampe's hut and fuse kinstones with him. If all else fails, look for a kinstone fusion. That's how things work in this world, right? <laughs> so, the reason why I couldn't find this stupid grave is because this kinstone fusion opens it up for us. Literally, it just pushes it out of thin air. Don't ask me. Okay, huh, they fit. And I like how I just slashed his face before saying they fit. I'm venting my frustrations on him because it, it took way too much brain power and I don't I don't do well with brain power. All right, I need to take more fish oil. <laughs> power up them brain cells. He does have another fusion, which gives us another 
Minish Hole in the Wind Ruins. So we have a little bit more of a reason to go back to the Wind Ruins now. Again. I feel like we just went up, went over there. Um, okay, grab that. I'm gonna check it one more time. I think he only has two fusions. So, yep, he only had two. Good. So we're all good. Now we can spend time in darkness for two seconds. Come up here and it's lit again. Selective nighttime. Uh, now we can head down here. And we have a pink ghost who has more kinstone fusions for us. By the way, I found out that these ghosts are actually called genies. Which is weird. I, I guess this is this world's genies. Uh, so you move that kinstone and now you can go outside. But I would get lonely here by myself. So could you come see me sometime? I, I'll have plenty of kinstone pieces ready. So please do come back. Aww. She's sweet. <laughs> oh, and then she just goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> After I actually want to fuse kinstones with her. So this is Gina. Get it? Gina? Genie? Gina? That opens up the waterfall. Yeah, so we have a few things to take care of after we go back. Um, okay, yeah, thanks for the good luck. Now I have to go out and come back in. But first, let's pick up our 100 mysterious shells. Head out, go back in. And now, for a second time, we can fuse this wedge. Let's see. Oh! That's over in Western Wood, I think? I believe that's Western Wood. Yeah, that's Western Wood. Okay. Um, I think that's all she has for us, but just to be sure, we're gonna go and go out, go back in, and check once again. Uh, I know that this is a grave, but please make yourself feel at home. Why is she so nice? She's so nice for a spooky ghost! Look at that! She's so happy that we came back to visit her! That's so sweet! Unfortunately, we don't have anything else to do with her, so... We're... we're good. That's pretty much everything that we needed to take care of in this area. Uh, do you have anything more for me? Does not seem like it, so we're good. Ah, <sighs> thankfully we don't have to go through that whole maze business because we can just summon our bird. Take me away! And now we can head to Hyrule Town. Now I'm really, really curious what that thing, what that thing was. So I'm gonna go find out right now. Let, let's find out what this, what this thing is. Go inside. It's a treasure chest. Wait. Holy moly, okay, I, I gotta I gotta spend some shells. I really gotta spend some shells. Oh, I, I, I wish I wish I knew that was that was mysterious shells. So I should probably off screen some of that grinding while before we do anything else. Okay, I think we wanna do one last thing before we wrap up for this episode. And this is kind of an extra thing, but oh boy, this is going to help us immensely. Um, the oracles have some new fusions for us, and their fusions this time around are going to be amazing. You want to do this ASAP because this is going to be incredibly useful. So we have a butterfly that appears, and it seems pretty trivial at first, correct? But just you wait. Oh boy, just you wait. Now, uh, I'm gonna pop on my Pegasus boost because I'm impatient and I want to run fast. Run fast. Run fast. Uh, and the one that's left without a home also, also has a fusion for us. I still feel terrible for her. This poor girl. Uh, go up. Talk to her. I hate being here all alone. I wish I could find a nice place to live like the others did. And then she never did. Uh, she gives us... A butterfly back where we came from, and yes, it only just unlocked now. We couldn't do this before clearing the royal crypt. So, we, we had to clear that, and now we're getting sent right back there. Unfortunately, that, that's just how... 
That's how this game rolls. It makes us go all over the place and then sends us right back where we came from. Because it can. And just as you might think, the next Kinstone Fusion that we want to take care of is with Din. So we're going to talk to her. Yes, I want to fuse Kinstones. How about it, girly? And that gives us one in the Wind Ruins. Okay, well, we were meaning to go back there anyway, so that's no skin off my nose, to be honest. Uh, okay, how about give me, giving me a charm since I have three bottles? Why the heck not? And now, since we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and swing by all of those areas super briefly to take care of it. Okay, the first one is here in Caster Wilds, and thankfully, it's not very far from the warp point. Here's the butterfly, and if we catch it, you can now dig faster than before! So, let's whip out our moments. Watch this. Well, it's not that much faster, but... Well, I think we actually have to go and find an actual, like, digging place. Um... We don't have any in the general near vicinity, so that's unfortunate. But next time we go to a digging area, we'll 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 take care of some quicker digging. Now the next one is over here at the very beginning. Now you can shoot arrows faster than before. Yes, we're getting in general more upgrades. Look at this. Look at how quickly we can fire these arrows now. It's pretty much instantaneous. Well, maybe not instantaneous or that would be really freaking broken. But it's a lot faster than before. I, I, you know, I wish that these butterflies were actually a thing so that if I wanted to be talented at something, I'd just go out and catch myself a butterfly. Would that not be the best? You know, this game has a lot of things that I wish were real, like the Jabbernut. Wait, what the frick was that? Oh, it was a lever. Okay. Like the jabber nut, just freaking, freaking pick up this nut and eat it, and then suddenly I can speak Japanese. You know? That would be the coolest thing ever. And now we have this stupid butterfly mechanic and 200 mysterious shells I should have went and spent some crap. And having it actually, like, give you... Oh, I have... Uh, is this it? Is it, is it, oh, that is it. So I have to shrink down and go back up. Okay, gotcha. And then ha having these butterflies where if you catch it, you suddenly have freaking... You suddenly have freaking talents beyond imagination. And that would be, like, the coolest thing. And right, the, the thing is actually up there. What am I doing? It's just, like, instantaneous gratification. I would love it if I could find a good butterfly like that. All right, so that's me and my talents rant. I didn't even really call it a rant. It was more like wishful thinking than a rant. So we're gonna shrink down, come over here, and go to that minish hole. Drop on down, and we got a kinstone piece that we didn't really need. Oh well, what can you do? So that's pretty much it for the wind runes. We've gotten all the kinstone rewards as well as a new ability. And now there's one more to get and it's back at the royal crypt. Unfortunately, that one requires walking. So I'll just see you guys. I'll see you guys in that general vicinity. I got hit by a red bird and it took all my money. <laughs> well, not all my money. Probably about a hundred rupees or something, but still, it's the principle of the matter. <laughs> Not that I wasn't whining about having too much money anyway. So this is our final Joy Butterfly. You can now swim faster than before. This is gonna be great. I'm excited for this. I'm so excited for this. This is like the best thing ever. I'm, 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 I'm like way too, way too into this, but we're gonna go ahead and test it out right now. Uh, this has a river and also a dig spot, so, um, we're, we'll do the dig spot first. Because I know exactly where it is and it's kind of on the way, so hop on down. Let's do this. Let's see how much quicker we can dig. Watch this. Yeah! Yeah! Vroom vroom! Dig in! Dig in and it's super fast! Look at me! I'm Speed Racer! Go, go, Speed Racer! <laughs> okay, that was kind of dumb. And 
And for the next ability that we got, we are able to swim quickly! Yeah, that, that, that's actually quite a big difference. Man! Yeah! Eat my ripples! That sounds really lame. Imagine, like, being in a swimming competition and then just shouting back at your enemies or your rivals and being like, EAT MY RIPPLES! That'd be, like, the worst failed intimidation tactic ever. Alright, with that, now that we have upgraded our arrows, our arms and legs for swimming, and our digging capabilities, and also, yeah, meeting an ancient king of Hyrule, that also happened. <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and call it quits here, and next time, we'll be taking a look at a couple of other things that have opened up to us, like this mini game that the guy got inspired for. So, we're gonna be doing that next time. So, I will see you guys then. Masinola, out.